Hi everyone, uh, in this uh, uh, video, in this specific lab of uh, packet tracer, we are going to configure this triple uh, A local authentication as well as server-based uh, server authentication. So if you remember, then triple A is a framework where, which is used to help us uh, uh, authenticate, authorize as well to take, to keep an account of the users. So it's a security framework, which is very helpful in to making our network secure. So in for our today's lab, uh, we are going to configure this uh, a router. So this is a router, for instance, if we say that this is the router and uh, for example, this is a user who is using this computer who wants to access this router. So maybe we connect a switch there to make a network. And uh, then we also need a uh, server, so we will configure that server which will act as a simple TechX server. And uh, first we will say that we will configure this locally and then we will get the help from this uh, server. So first we are going to make the connection between them. So I'm going to select this automatic connection. So just if we say that uh, if I make connection from this computer to this switch, and then again from this switch to this router and then okay i'll connect this one later on so at the moment what we are going to do we are going to configure AAA at this router so first of all we are going to this router using command line interface so just click on this router and go to command line interface and here you say no for initial configuration and uh, and then first we go to the enable to the privilege mode, enable mode, and then we go to configure terminal to go to global configuration mode. And here first of all, we are going to interface, which is actually this interface. So this interface and yeah, so this interface, this is G0 gigabit zero zero so we are going to this interface interface gigabit zero slash zero and we are giving an IP address to this interface like uh, if we give IP address like one nine two dot one six eight dot ten dot one if I maximize it then two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero so this is IP address there and then we say no shell Okay, so maybe we can write here that at this end we used 192.168.10.1. So this is the IP address which we used at this interface of the router. And uh, then we can give, uh, so once we have done this thing, then we can Control Z, we are in privilege mode, then we can config T and we say host name. We change the host name, so for example, host name is R1, this host name R1, and then we generate a key and we also assign the domain name for this because we, are, we want to configure this uh, for secure shell. And from uh, for the secure shell, we need to configure this. We, we did this in one video. So, what we do, we say IP domain name and we can say yeah cisco.com yeah it doesn't make any difference you can use any name so i use cisco.com so this is the domain name and then we uh, uh, generate a key so we what we say crypto key uh, generate so and then rsa so this is the method this is the way by which key will be generated and then enter and uh, this is the length of the key which we can define here. So for example, I'm going to use 248 here. So 2048, done. So we are done with key generation and then we, we can uh, shift to this uh, um, AAA configuration. So now first we need to enable AAA there. So for that, if you remember, we need this AAA new model.
model. So with this command, we are going to enable triple A on this router. Once enabled, then we say, uh, so we actually didn't define this, uh, sorry, we didn't define the usernames here. So first we need to give the usernames into a uh, new model. So say no triple A new model. I reverted back that command. So now I'm going to create some username. So for example, username is Ishan and password is newbie123. So this is a single user we created. And now we can say triple A new model to enable triple A authentication here. And now we say triple A authentication because we want to create a list from where the user gets authentication. So we say AAA authentication login. And then we say default, this is the list. And we say local. So we define, uh, for example, list for authentication. So we define the authentication method. And after this, after this, we go to that particular interface or to those VTV lines where we want to implement this authentication. So what we go we say, sorry, we say line VT by zero to four. And then we say a login authentication. We say use this list with its default. Use the default list. And we have defined this default list here. So here. And we say use that list at this, at these VT by lines. And we press enter. Okay. And say control Z and we are out of that. Okay, now we want to check this. Are we able to use, um, are we able to access the IOS of this router? So what we do, we click there. And first we need to give an IP address to this PC as well. So that PC IP address should be in this submit. So we say 192.168.10.2. And this is the submit box for that. And yes done it and now if you remember so what we do again we go to command prompt and then we say SSH minus L and we give the host name that is Sean and then we give the IP address of this router so that is 192.168.10.1 and we say we press enter to establish a connection with the router using secure shell, SSL, so press enter. Like you see, it, it, it accesses this router and it's asking for password of this user. And if you remember, we said the password, newbnewbie123, and press enter. And you can see, by using local database, we are able to access this router using AAA authentication. So this is the way we set locally this database. Now, if you want to configure this server, then what we do, we want to use this server. So first we need to configure this server. Uh, so maybe we need to connect it. So connect from this router to this server, server is connected. And on this part, we are going to click on this server and first we need to give an IP address to this server itself. For example, we are giving this IP address 192.168.1.1. So this is a different network. So this is dot 10 and this part, this is dot one. We are making it this different network. And then, and it's also better to uh, write here that this is a different network. We can say this is 192.168 dot one dot two so this is the IP address for this server okay and we assign this IP address maybe we say this interface on this part this interface of the router will be one dot one so this will be the IP address of this interface which will be which will be G zero one you can see g zero one done it and uh, yes now we 
need to go to services of this router and then click on triple A and in this triple A so I maximize it. So for you now you can see that is I have maximized it. Then this triple A if you go to this server type we have this radius server as well as we have TACX server. So at the moment for example we are selecting TACX server and then we are saying what is the name of the client so name of the client means this will be the this router will be the client and if you remember the name for this uh, client or this router we said that is uh, r1 you can see host name r1 so we say here that the name of our client is r1 and the ip uh, and the ip address of that client will be 192.168.1.1 which we have not configured yet, but we will configure on this this interface. So and then we say the sh secret key which will they which they will share that we say that will be new B one two three. This will be shared secret key which will be shared between the server and the router. Router is a client, and we say uh, services on and we add this here. And then we need to create the database for users. So for users, for example, we say one user is student and his password is student. One, two, three. This is one user and second user is maybe teacher. So we can set the password for that teacher. So we can say teacher one, two, three. So we created these two users which are in this database and we set rest of a detail here. So we are done with the with this uh, with this uh, server now on this router on this interface we have to configure the IP address so if we go here we say con config t configure terminal so we are in global configuration mode here we say interface and g so this is gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and we need to give an IP address there, so that is 192.168.1.1, and then submit mask 255.255.255.0, and done. And then no shut. Don't forget about this. You need to activate this uh, link. So now you can see this link is connected. It is shown by green color. And then we need to give the details of that server which we just configured. So what we need to do, we need to exit here. And in global configuration mode, we need to say that we will be using TechX server. So TechX server host. Then IP address of that server is 192.168.1.2. So I hope you remember dot one dot two is this IP address of this server. So we gave the IP address of this server, and then we also need to specify the shared key. So TechX take x key that is new b so we configured that key on the server as well and we configured this we gave this uh, key here as well so we are done with that and uh, then we need uh, to enable uh, we need to enable new so triple a new and model we are going to do that thing again so triple A new model and then we say triple A and then we say authentication and triple A authentication and we say login then we say default and this time we are creating a group so we say group and first option are in the list so we are creating a list so in this list the first option is tech x so TechX and the second option is local. So it will check in the TechX database and it will check the local database and we press enter. And uh, once we are done with that, we need to go to line VTY because we want to apply there. So we get to line VTY 04 and we say login authentication and use default list enter and an additional command that is transport input ssh and done
maybe we can go to line console as well we say line console zero and uh, and we say uh, login authentication and we say one so that and control z and now with this configuration let's verify that it's working so what we did we just uh, uh, set the username some some users in the other servers and uh, now we want to access by you those usernames for telnet connection so what we are going to do so for example here we configured so i'm going to show you again so in this services we configured some users there we created users student and teacher so by using these users we want to access the ios of this router from this pc so we want to check it now this time we say so this is still in the router one so first we say exit so now this pc is local on this c drive of this pc now we want to access that using secure shell to ssh minus sorry minus l and then we need to uh, give the username so that is student and then we give the ip address of the router so 192.168.10.1 and then we press enter yeah it's asking for the password for this user so if you remember password was student123 so s t u d e n t 123 and enter so it's checking with the server that is there any database for this user so it didn't find any record for that it means we made some mistake somewhere so again students one two three so we say uh yes first sorry so we need to we need to give this because we are accessing this network so we need to define the gateway here so what we do, we need to give gateway that's 192.168.10.1 is the gateway. So this is the gateway here. We assign the gateway here. And done. Now again the command prompt and use the same command. SSH minus L student and 192.168.10.1. Maybe 10.1 so this so maybe just that part so 1.1 .1 and just enter and we say s t u d e n t 1 2 3 enter so i hope this time it will it will work checking with that it's not working still we are making somewhere mistake so what we have done just one to one up up and Ah, uh, so sorry, we have given wrong address here. So here, what we have done here, desktop, we have assigned one one. So this is one two. Sorry, one two. So now we should be there. So I hope it works. S T U D E N T one two three. Enter. Yes working you can see here this access the router and you can now actually we haven't set the enable password so we will not be able to access the privilege mode see so we haven't set it but you can see access the, the access is the uh, user mode of the router so we even we made a mistake here because we assigned it and we didn't give this ip address we gave this the same address to this interface as well as the same address to this uh, server so this is the reason that this created problem uh, so yeah so if, if we use the same for example if we say this time use maybe we first we need to say exit and then we say use 10.1 it should work with that as well so instead of 10.1 and here instead of student if we say use teacher account so we say teacher and press enter just asking for password so this time t e a c h e r one two three is a password press enter and you can see we are in the user mode so it's working with 10 as well as one as well so just we need to give any ip address of the router
router and router should give us the access to the IOs if, if our credentials are there. So what we did, uh, we created some users on this server. So this is a server where we created some users and we accessed uh, the uh, IOs of this router. So what we did, we, for example, to say we access this router, we access this router from this PC by using the usernames who are configured, whose details is configured here in this router. So in this way, we uh, actually demonstrate that how to configure the local database as well as uh, the server-based authenticate, AAA server-based authentication. So thank you, thank you very much for your time, and I hope uh, this will be a bit helpful for you. Otherwise, if you have some yeah, some questions to discuss, um, I'll be happy to discuss it. Thank you. Thank you very much.